Greetings, I'm DK Ross. Now, welcome back to the TTT News. Now, I firmly believe that we reach higher while standing on the shoulders of great ones. We are here today with a great one. So great that to celebrate our time together, I went for a little red, white, and black to celebrate this patriot. Someone who is celebrating 55 years in their field had me learning about culture, wondering what is Idema while jumping up in a band with a tomahawk in my hand. Someone who, after all these years, has arguably the biggest chutney soaker in the business and still to this day has one of the best heads of hair going. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to go in depth of 55 years with Edwin Crazy Ayong. Uncle Crazy, how are you doing, sir? I am here, boy. Look at you, I'm here, Charlie. You know, I'm social distancing. I live in here, watch it. This, this is my house here, I live in it. Social distancing. And let me tell you something about Dickie. Good man wasting in this country, boy. Good, good man. You understand? I live in here by myself. Sometimes I just go in the grocery, true value. People want to know if you're really crazy or you're by yourself with your wife. You know what I mean? But anyway, I think for this season, things might, things looking good, you know? Things looking good. All right. And in terms of this season, you say things looking good. How has the I pandemic treated you? The, the pandemic? Yeah. Well, you know, you know, um, yeah, I deal with the pandemic already. You know, for Christmas, I was up there in Toronto. You know, and the mistake I make, you know, well, when I went up there the same parang. I think it was the, right, the 14th of December when I went up there. I deal with the pandemic up there. You know, I got my vaccines here, Johnson & Johnson. Went up there because people begging for parang boy. People want to come out, the board up there in Toronto, COVID killing people, you know, so they say crazy, come up now, come up again. I got the place back. But the mistake was people coming to take photo after the show. Mm -mm. After the show, and they want you to pull along your mask, say, get, get, get crazy. If you leave on your mask, nobody will know that. I go on pulling on my mask and I badam somebody with COVID last year. Yeah. It's a good thing I take two in it's a good thing I took five vaccines. Yes, thanks to Miss Renata Puran. She said crazy, do go all day with just two. You know, I went all day with four and, and I took uh what do you call it a booster shot in, in, in Atlanta, you know, because I was doing a, a series of parent shows in different states, like Toronto. Orlando, Miami, Atlanta, Baltimore. I was out there doing those things. So, no, um, normally, I, some t when people when people saying they want to get boost up, they used to be talking about supplement, but now it's talking about vaccine. Ah, they talk, they talk about boost. Um, um the, 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 the supplement and it's up the next one, man. Can't remember the name. <laughs> yes, but right now it's vaccine. The action is vaccine. But you say you know if you want if you if I you see me if you want enemies right now I have I have a lot of enemies right now don't tell un unvaccinated people here in Trinidad to get vaccinated otherwise it's enemy I lose about ten friends there but they say they're not taking it I tell them oh God all you they say you crazy when I tell them I take it they tell me crazy but what what are some of the latest things that you're involved in crazy. Some of you just think, well, right now it's a carnival, you know, I'm, I'm Calypso. I'm doing that. I, I have one of the biggest songs, Calypso, talking about not soca. Calypso, singing a Calypso about, um, I met the man who created the COVID, the man who came with the vaccine. I was in 2020, I was in China, and I met him in a hotel. Well, it had, that song, the people should check into that song. I don't think that the people will hear better Calypso than that Calypso name. And the name of it is the Awakening, you know? When I met this man, and, 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 and I was questioning him, I asked him, how oh, people do the world that? And he started telling me why he had to drop this COVID on people. Then they should listen to that. I don't think you'll have yeah, a better song than that this year. Hmm. And we have all the ingredients. Why he saying why he did it? Why, why he did it? Because the world wasn't going good. See, things were bad. So you have to, you have to give, teach mankind a lesson, you know? And you 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 find it you find this a big effort to stay relevant. Like you said, it's fifty five years you're doing this. What are some of the things you look for to say? Okay, I'm going to put that in a song. I'm going to deal with that topic. Well, yeah. Well, um, 
Well, well, we have to be current, you know, because every year, look, I have 50, to be 55 years in Cali too, and people still know you, you know? That, that, yeah, that, that is something special that have to, have to be something godly, you know? And I thank God for making me just a few more days, I'll be 78 years. People telling me, they say, well, crazy, why you change your name from I young to was young? But it's as cool and watch me. I right now I'm in the gym, you know? as I done here with you, it's straight in gold gym. You know? I, 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 my achievement right now is still, I am the college student to live the longest. You know, Cali, the last college student that died, Bomber, he was 93, and Skipper was 95. But I want to make 100. If I only make 100 in this country, so I, this minute I, I come in by your radio station, and every minute I say, I'm young, I'm young, I'm young. You know? <laughs> so I, I, and, that is my and, in terms, <laughs> and in terms of that 55 years, what are some mm -hmm. of those things that you look at as milestone or markers along the way? Because 55 years ago, you'd be a young boy in the business. Now, oh, yeah, like, you said in two, in, like you said in 2015, people need to respect you as an elder. Yes, boy, yes. Okay, man, they respect me. I just love the art form. I love the calypso and I love our culture. I love the pan. I used to play pan with Booty Marshall in Highlanders when I used to live in success with his Lavantil. So I am just, I just love these things. My favorite calypso name was the Mighty Spoiler, also Lord Blakey and Dan Sparrow, you know? Because I follow in Calypso from Nelson Street Boys also. I used to sing Calypso there together with Black Prince Chalk. That was there too. We were little boys, we were, you know. But that's um, I was like um, 10 years old, you know. I died like, 68 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's song It's sounding good, it's sounding good. But also yeah, about song. Yeah. Also sounding good. Uh, you, you spoke about your Calypso, but you, there's a project that you did with Buffy. Yeah, but that's Party and Fet. Yeah, that song now, Buffy, you know, I don't do much collaborations because people do not ask me, ask me to do a collaboration with them, you know? But Buffy, um, um, Buffy, I follow, I follow by the name of Revelation. He, he, he just sing reggae, yeah. So, you know, he, so he, um, he, say, he, 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 he made this song for Buffy, but then Buffy wanted me to join her in it because she think that I have a, a good voice and she think that um, I'll be the appropriate person, you know? So I join her, you know, I, have, I like to help the young people. You know? The young, anytime any young artist call on me for help, I always help them. I believe in that. Because we have to show them like Kess, Marshall, Bonji, all of them. They learn from us. You know, they learn from us when they see us doing that. But we there long before them. So I will always help them. If Bonji call me or Marshall or any one of them, I will always be there for them. You know? And we're going to continue this discussion in terms of your role at this point in time in the music, in the fabric of TNT. But we go to that song with you and Buffy at this point in time, and then we come back with more. Stay with us. Long before Corona was party and fet. Long before Ebola was party and fet. Long before the swine flu was party and fet. Buffy, let me tell them what to do. Party and fet.
And we are speaking to the Patriot, 55 years in the business, Edwin a Crazy Ayong. And after all of that, I'm wondering what that fellow with the scissors doing. But Uncle Crazy, it seems as though you are not afraid to experiment, to go into different genres. What are some of the things that you look at when you say, hmm, let me try this one. Let me do this one. Yeah, I always like to be different. I did some jazz. If you, if you go on, um, on YouTube and check out Crazy, um, um, if I you, know you did Route 66. Uh, Route 66. That is one of my favorites. I used to live in California at that time, you know? I had a married a, a white girl up there, Mala McKellar. She's still my wife, but it's just that she up there and I still down here. You know, we are, and we are, and that's 1982. We went, you know, you ever heard of Frank James and Jesse James? Yes, sir. You ever heard of this? It's a classic. They, this, they were in Western years ago. In Western. I got married right there. They got married. Yeah, they got married sometime in 18 something. Chapel of the Bells is a place where um, you go to get married now. But they have all the favorite names of people that got married in that chapel. And I was one, like together with Jesse James, Frank James, and um, and um, what's the young fellow name? It had the next um, notorious um, Billy the Kid. Yeah, Billy the Kid was, he got married there too. <laughs> but also, and even like going, looking at Christmas songs as well, like one of the favorite songs, my favorite Christmas songs, is this song you did where you're looking at all the things that are not going right with you. But still on the radio, you hear everybody saying Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 the name of that song is Merry Christmas. You remember, is I who started that in 1978? You know? Because, you know, um, in, before 1978, we used to have Christmas calypsos within that, like, that parang influence, you know? And in 1977, when Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, and Nat King Cole, these men used to rule the airwaves here for Christmas. That is no longer so since I came with that song. Parang Soka is in it. People call it Maria because that's the hook line, Maria. So when I started that year, people saw, got mad with me because they understand th th that parang thing in, in Spanish. You know, call el perico, señores. Dame rapata para porente. That's how people remember the, the, the Spanish, they don't know it in English. So when I started to, to, to sing it in English, now I took the role of lead singer, parang rama in a rima. People say, nah, we don't want to hear that. We want to hear it in Spanish. Until the year 1977, a band from Venezuela. You know, my mother was born there, Rosalia Alcala. They came here and was using obscene language while they were singing. And my brother would spend some time, they say, crazy, all you dancing to that and they cussing all you. They were saying, Ami me kiami en negrito del bate. He was talking about the races, the Indians and the um, Africans, how they, um, you know, using obscene language, now, how they know good and well. And that is what changed the whole concept. I say I have to do something with English in it so that people could understand that these people use enough in them. And that is how the Paransuka was born. That was the first one. The second one was Muchacha. Men, men, Muchacha. They say, Mucho bien, I don't know what the France are saying, but it was something good. And Trinidad said, Love it. So that is how that Paransuka did start it. But that song you're speaking about, um, Merry Christmas. Ding dong, ding dong, Merry Christmas is here. Season greetings and a happy new year. Yes, that song, it have two people that I have to give credit to for do that, 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 that particular number is Beaver Henderson. Beaver Henderson, in those days, Brother Marvin, but I produced Jahaji Bai for Brother Marvin, you know? We used to sing in the same tent with Kitchener on Rising Road. And Brother Marvin wanted to get a recording and he called him and he asked me, say, Chris, I want to record um, Jahaji Bai. And I say, all right, and I spend because in those days I was making plenty of money. So they had $6,000. I say, go on and record it. And it became a big hit. That is a signature song. And it's so funny because when, 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 I, when I listen to that song, I hear Brother Marvin. So I was always wondering whether or not he had any part to play in it. But as we continue and taking it back from the history to now, and we want to go back to the history in just a bit. What is on the table? What is on the cards? What are you doing this year? Because you said this year looking kind of good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it that you're in a carnival? One more is it time. that you're in a tent? One more time. Eh? Is it that in you're in tent? a tent this year? Yes, I'm Friday we're opening, you know. I am singing at the classic Russo Calypso tent. And on Friday we are opening, you know. We have some nice songs there, but what I will be doing in the tent on Friday coming, 
I will be paying a tribute to Dr. Winsford Joker de Vins, one of the greatest writers that we ever had here in Trinidad. You know, he write like 91 songs for Sparrow. That he did some for me too, because he, he, he was a genius in lyrics and, and Baron and, um, and Trini, all those big hits. So I am paying tribute to him singing um, a progress. Today, when I look around in the world, I'll be singing that in tribute to him and King Austin. You know, this is the perfect time to pay tribute to these, um, to these icons. So I'll be doing that. And I'll be also singing a classic that I had in 1979 named Don't Try That. A band, a, 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 it's like a in Cuba and Venezuela. And that was a road match. Everybody was singing, Don't Try That. Don't. Yeah, and that is a Trinidad song. I sang, I sang with the Mamas every night. But as an icon, Crazy, looking at where you are now and how you're able to just remember these things, Winsford Joker Devine and talking about Brother Marvin and just having this knowledge, what do you think your role is now seeing that some of the people, your contemporaries, your peers are transitioning, moving on? We're looking at Kenny J, we're looking at Bomber, we're looking at Joker uh, and all, all these people are making space. What are some of the things you think about in, in times like these with the two minutes that we have left? Yeah, I, I, I think about the youth, the young people that come in up in the business. To, to, to think, because look, I have a song right now that you must do thing on for the youths. Two songs, one named Eternal Love is a song about how they're treating women now. And you're supposed to love, is if a man getting married, he could dance that song with his wife. And Eternal Love is a song for the youths, you know, we, we just put a little more clothes, a little more clothes on the calypso, not the soca, to make it more danceable. And the lyrics is, is, is more love. The lyrics have things with love, like um, you and I were meant to be for an eternity, moon and stars in unity, until forever be souls and shadows of the night, basking in the moonlight. That, that kind of lyrics, you know? I mean, we could sing about our um, governmental things like man. Land Rogi. But I'm talking about a rich idea for Calypso, not a rich idea. I am leaving these things. I don't know if I'll make a hundred and change, but I'm leaving these things for the youths to follow. This is how I think right now about the youths and where the music is going. In the next 10 years or 15 years, the music is supposed to be better than now. What we do now, you know? So this is how I think right now. Youths, youths on my mind. And any youths that want help, I will always help them and I always help them. And we want to thank you for the work that you have done, the work you continue to do. As you move towards that 100 and change, Edwin Crazy Ayong. And on behalf of the entire TTT team, we want to thank you for tuning in. This has been In Depth with me, DK Rasta. Thank you for joining us.